Welcome back folks to the channel, nice to see you again. Uh, I've got another video for you today, I wanted to talk about uh, aquarium volume. This is something that comes up from time to time from friends, customers, whatever it may be, about working out what the size of your tank is and people getting it hugely wrong all the time, everywhere. Generally people want to know this because they're either trying to work out what kind of stocking levels they can go for for a particular fish or combination of fish or they're medicating for some reason. Quite often I get this where someone says, oh I lost four or five fish last night. I'll say, what happened? And I'll say, well I was medicating for X, Y or Z or whatever it was. Put in the medication, next day came down, uh, the one fish that was looking ill is dead but so were five or six others. And generally what happens is they think they've got a 200 litre tank but they've actually only got something like 100 litres of water in there and they medicate for a 200 litre tank and that goes way over and causes all kinds of problems. So, if you want to avoid doing that, think about how you work out what size your tank is. So it's fairly straightforward calculation to work out what the volume of shape is and I'll put a couple of links down below to some websites that work it out for you um, but where you have to engage the old grey matter is when it comes to working out the actual water content of that volume so yeah let's say you've got a box that's 120 centimeters by 60 by 60 that pretty easily stick those numbers in that will give you a calculation but what that is is giving you the volume of that theoretical box from those lines from those dimensions but an aquarium isn't like that the aquarium has glass which has a thickness so it's a little bit less than 120 centimeters and 60 centimeters and 60 centimeters and do you fill your aquarium right to the brim no not many people do so it's not 60 centimeters it might be 50 centimeters or 45 centimeters and is there nothing but water in there because most people have substrate which is a couple of centimetres or a couple of inches maybe and some decorations, some big bits of wood maybe or stones or a background or fish themselves so you need to make an allowance for these things when you're working out what the volume of your tank is so keep that in mind when you're going there but don't be too worried if you've made these mistakes in the past because everybody makes them um, I'll give you an example King of DIY himself, he's always banging on about his 2,000 gallon aquarium. He doesn't have a 2,000 gallon aquarium. If, he's lucky if he has just over half that. I mean, he's always going on about how his aquarium is 10 feet by 7 feet by 4 feet, I think it is. Um, and he marked it all out on the floor and you could see him measuring that. And that's that was the, the length of the footprint. But the walls of that aquarium are 8 inches thick. So he's got 16 inches less than 10 foot wide by 16 inches less than 7 foot wide. Um, and is it filled up to the top? Because it doesn't look like it. Um, in fact, I've never, I don't know how tall Joey is, but I know how tall some of the people I've seen him in videos with are. And he doesn't, I, I put money on him not being taller than me, but and if I look at some of the videos he's done there, I'd be lucky if there's 3 foot deep of water in that tank, never mind 4. You can see if I use those actual figures on that calculator I showed you earlier, it comes out at just over a thousand gallons, nowhere near two thousand gallons. Now obviously there's margins of error and things that I might not be considering that he's got a hundred gallon sump in a different room or maybe he did measure differently off camera than what I've seen but I'm not trying to hate on Joey. I bought the book, I bought the t-shirt. Um, it's just to show that, that everybody wildly miscalculates volumes when they're talking about this sort of stuff so just make sure you take all this with a pinch of salt uh, when you're trying to work out what your aquarium volume is and if you're if you're doing it for medication err on the side of caution um, and, and just be a bit more sensible about it rather than going by the dimensions of the extremes of your tank and you won't go wrong as always, I'll catch you again next time. Thanks for watching everyone and remember to check out those links below if you want to consider subscribing. That'd be great. Have a look at my Patreon page uh, and we'll catch you again next time. Thank you very much everyone. Bye bye.